You have a moment. Something's come up. I got a letter from my father about my mother, Reni. She's gone missing. She has a habit of running off on an adventure at the drop of a hat and being gone for weeks at a time, but Dad says she's been out of touch for a while now. He's worried. It runs in the family. Well, Mom's side. Dad's a Halalu trader she partnered with for years before settling down. Mostly settling down. She'd acquire all sorts of rare items for their clients, but my father said they haven't had any commissions. Mom neglected to mention it, I'm sure, but my father mentioned getting an angry letter from one of their old clients at the Stormhold Majors Guild, claiming she reneged on their arrangement after taking payment. Would you mind if we pay them a visit? When Mom's in one of her flighty moods, it usually sorts itself out, but... Sometimes she gets so wrapped up in something it becomes an obsession. Someone has to talk some sense into her, and that someone is usually me. I got my mom's knack for adventure and my dad's level-headedness, so I'm the only one who's both crazy enough to go after her and sane enough to talk some sense into her. That high elf matches Mert Olivian's description. Ask him if he's seen a Reni Alendis. I should probably hang back. Do I know you? I don't believe I do. <laughs> I don't see how that's any of your affair. But if you must know, I did cross paths with that unscrupulous dark elf, and I'm worse for it. What's your interest in Irene? I suppose she cheated you as well. She came to me seeking information, and given our long-standing association, I entrusted her with it on the assurance that she would do me a simple favor in return. Instead, she ran off and played me for a fool. No one makes a fool of me. And I really need the antique ink pot she promised to procure. I'll tell you what I told her, Renny, but only after my ink pot is returned to me and not a moment sooner. I caught the gist of that. That sweat actually wanted my mom to rob a bank. I'm glad she had enough sense not to go through with it. Unless the reason we haven't heard from her is because she's in jail. Uh, no. No, she she wouldn't. I mean, adventuring can be dirty business. My family is nothing but a bunch of no-good tomb robbers, depending on who you ask. Act casual, just two people admiring the decorations. <clears throat> oh, this is such a nice bank, isn't it? Oh, such refined taste. Mm -hmm. But if we do wind up breaking the law, I could have a worse partner in crime. You're a good friend. Dare I ask, is the deed done? Is my little treasure to be returned to me at last? At least Irene had an appreciation for rarities. I sent her to meet another antiquity hunter I deal with who made a discovery in Stone Falls that Irene would be interested in. Edvilda Stonestalker. She was probing my interest in Dwemer relics. I've no interest in it, but I knew Irene has an unhealthy interest in them. She was camped near Steamfont, last I heard. That's all I can tell you, so our business is concluded. Mom was definitely here. She had to have gone in a hurry if she left this scarf behind. Did Edvilda write down anything that would clue us in on where my mother's gone? Oh, not that fetching thing again. Mom. She's been chasing after my grandfather's Dwemer puzzle box for decades. I've never been to the Inner Sea Armature. It must not be too far from Edvilda's camp. Three. I hope Mum's all right. Miri? Miri, am I glad to see you, Scrib. Get me out of these shackles. You've done a fine job looking after Miri, so I'll follow your lead. But don't think we're done talking. 
I was negotiating a lead from a contact I met out by Steamfont, and talks got a little heated. She was trying to take me for a ride, I could tell. And we must have caught the attention of these feckless swits. They tried to rob us. She tried to make a run for it, and they cut her down without a second thought. Figured I'd take my chances with another approach. Offered to be their cook if they spared my life. Fortunately, they aren't picky. I was beginning to run out of recipes. Don't think you're free and clear just because we escaped the bandits. What were you thinking? Oh, come now, Miri. I've been doing this since before you were in diapers. And you're not getting any younger. We almost lost Liam, and you nearly lost this. Would you trade it for that stupid puzzle box? Liam's scarf? Miri, I... I... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry I worried you all. It's just... I'll let it go. We love you, Mom. We're your family. Go home. I know it probably seems like I'm being harsh, but Mom's been at this more times than I can count. She promises to give up on it, but then she catches some whiff of a lead about that damn box and she's off like a race squaw. Death was the only thing that stopped my grandfather from chasing after that stupid trinket. I don't want it to be the same for her. You can only keep rolling the dice in this life for so long. Sorry for dragging you into my family drama. Are you kidding? If I don't get you out of here, she'll make you meet the entire extended family. Davin's watch is just down the road. She can make her way home from there. Thank you for putting up with all this. I'll make it up to you. <laughs>